New tonight, the only local winery, winery in the Rio Grande Valley is facing challenges on how to continue business after crops and business has dwindled. CBS 4's Priscilla Estrada has more. 85-year-old Jorge Jaber is certain of one thing in life, his love for wine. We plant the, 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 the vineyard in 2009. And we start to make uh, wine, we harvest in 2011. But one thing he's not sure about is how he's going to continue running his business, Jaber Estate Winery, that he's dreamed of almost his entire life. Not possible to keep trying to make wine from these, uh, those grapes. And it's, they are not 100% dead, but there is probably 80 percent or something like that. Jaber sadly looks at the little blooms he'll likely see since last year's harvest took a turn for the worse when they filled with disease and he could no longer produce wine. I'm not going to quit. I don't want to quit. Uh, but exactly what is going to happen and how I'm going to do, I cannot tell you. He wonders, though, if removing and replacing basically his entire vineyard would be useless since the outcome is unknown. I really like the, to do that and the time that I'm, I'm going to leave, I would like to, to keep doing this. He continues his passion with tours and tastings for the meantime. When I have a lot of wine here, 35,000 bottles, that uh, um, it, it's enough to, to keep working. And The wine dates back to 2011 and is 100% from the Rio Grande Valley. In Hidalgo County, with complete valley coverage, Priscilla Estrada, CBS4 Valley, tonight. Jabber will decide sometime this year on a strategy to continue producing wine, for example, purchasing grapes from up north.